Welcome! Did you ever think about what's inside the earth? That's exactly what we are going to learn today in Geography chapter Inside the Earth. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button and let's get into this class. The uppermost layer over the earth's surface is called the crust. It's the thinnest of all the layers. It is about 35 kilometers on the continental masses and 5 kilometers on the ocean flows. The main mineral constituents of the continental mass are silica and alumina. We call it SIL. SI is silica, AL is alumina. On the ocean crust mainly consists of silica and magnesium. So you can also call it SIMA. SI is silica, MA is magnesium. Now just beneath the crust is mantle, which extends up to a depth of 2,900 kilometers below the crust. The innermost layer is the core with a radius of about uh, 3,500 kilometers. It is mainly made up of nickel and iron. Ni is nickel, Fe is ferrous, that is iron. Let's look at rocks. First and foremost, what is a rock? Any natural mass of mineral matter that makes up the earth's crust is called a rock. There are basically three types of rocks. Igneous rock, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. Let's look at each of these. The word igneous is derived from a Latin word, ignis, meaning fire. How are these formed? When a molten magma cools, it becomes solid, thus forming rocks. Igneous rock are also called as primary rocks. There are two types of igneous rock, intrusive igneous rock and extrusive igneous rocks. Intrusive is when, when a molten magma cools inside the earth's crust. And extrusive igneous rocks is when molten lava cools on the earth's surface. How will you remember this? In, inside. Intrusive means inside the earth. Ex, exterior or outside. That's how you remember. In is inside. Ex, exterior or extrusive rocks. You know over a period of time that rocks roll down. They hit some other rocks. They break into tiny particles. They are called as sediments. So let's look at sedimentary rocks now. Sedimentary comes from a Latin word sedimentum meaning settle down. These small particles are transported by wind and water and loose sediments are compressed, hardened and they form a layer of rocks. For example, sandstone is made from grains of sand. These sedimentary rocks contain fossils of plants, animals and microorganisms. I want you to go and google images of fossils. I'm sure you'll be very interested in it. And let me know in a comment box below what fossils did you find. Okay, moving along to metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic comes from a Greek word metamorphos, meaning change of form. What happens here? Igneous and sedimentary rocks can change into metamorphic rocks under great heat and pressure. For example, clay changes into slate and limestone changes into marble. Rocks are used for different purposes, for building houses, roads, etc. But there are also games played with rocks. Now, I'm not talking about throwing stones at each other. Please don't do that. That's not advisable. But games such as seven stones, which is also called as pitu, hopscotch, which is also called as tapu, five stones, also called as gitti, 
If you know any other games which can be played with stones, let me know in a comment box below. Remember that one type of rock can change its form. This process of transformation of rock from one to another is called a rock cycle. Process of transformation or change of rock from one to another is called a rock cycle. Let's move on to the last part. Rocks are made up of different minerals. And what are minerals? Minerals are naturally occurring substances which has certain physical properties and definite chemical composition. I repeat that again. Minerals are naturally occurring substances which have certain physical properties and definite chemical composition. For example, coal, natural gas, petroleum, iron, aluminium, gold and uranium. Just remember any four of these. That's it for today. Watch this video a couple of times. I'm sure you will be great at this chapter. If these classes are helping you, hit that like button and let me know about it. See you next time. Take care. Thank you very much.